probably the tool that job seekers struggle with the most. A lot of people seem to envision Twitter as just this running log of chatter that goes on. Maybe that's actually the exact same thing that you use it for. Let me ask all of you this. How many of you use Twitter on at least a semi-regular basis? OK, all right. And among you, are you using it primarily for social purposes, or are you harnessing its power for business or networking objectives? Who said yes to this? Social? Social? Business? OK, good, good. All right. I'll fess up. <laughs> I was a huge Twitter skeptic when I first jumped on a couple of years ago. It really, really confused me. It, it kind of made me angry because I couldn't figure out what it was going to be good for. It moved so fast. I didn't get it. I didn't understand what it was worth beyond that chatter. But I was launching jobjenny.com at the time, and I realized that I was going to need to be very deeply entrenched in social media. And so I sat down and I started to study Twitter. And I began to notice all these brilliant things going on. Organized hashtag conversations, which I know we've got question Q&A on, on today. Hire me campaigns. Some of them I've seen actually worked. Collaboration between recruiters and HR leaders and job seekers. Job seekers branding themselves directly to hiring managers and decision makers. It was downright glorious once I figured it out. <laughs> I felt like I just discovered something like a new element on the periodic table. Today I use Twitter regularly. Probably not as regularly as you guys. You're 20, I'm twice 20. But I chat with job seekers, I promote jobjenny.com, and I collaborate with other HR people, job search experts. And that's actually one of the ways in which Joshua Waldman and I communicate is through Twitter. And we talk about various projects and trends within our field. I've made some strong and lasting relationships through my Twitter networking in a very short amount of time. And at least a few times every month, I get a client who comes into me as a direct result of something that I've tweeted or somebody else has retweeted on my behalf. So as a job seeker, that's exactly what you can begin to do. This can happen for you. You can benefit quickly and directly if you study Twitter as a networking tool and then dive in. I'm going to repeat that. If you study Twitter as a networking tool and then dive in, don't just dive in, think it through first. If you build some strategy around your Twitter presence and then use it with care, it can really enhance your overall efforts to brand yourself as a professional and it can be a really useful tool for networking. Okay, so what specifically should you do or can you do over on Twitter? First and foremost, I'm going to encourage everyone to clean up your act if you need to. You wouldn't walk into an interview, hand a hiring manager a sheet of paper that says, and this is true, I'm going to cuff my boss if he makes me work any more graveyard shifts. That is an actual tweet I read the other night. You wouldn't do that. Of course you would not do that. But if your Twitter feed is this running log of bitching and complaining or use of risque language or otherwise unprofessional material, that's what a hiring manager is going to see. And that's how you're going to brand yourself. The boss cover. That's perfect. I'm not suggesting that you have, that you can't have one Twitter account and operate both your job search networking and your personal tweets through it. A lot of people can. But if you know in your heart that you just can't keep it clean over there, set up a second Twitter account. And set it up with a handle that's very straightforward, like first name, last name. OK, I'm going to move past Twitter, because we have a bit of a time shortage. Or I'm, I'm going to move past the basics. 
But definitely, if I'm going past something that you understand, you know, do this and, and we can backtrack a little bit. But let's talk about who you should follow over on Twitter. Number one, me. <laughs> no, really. Follow job search experts, um, uh, career advisors, HR people, recruiters. We won't necessarily unearth a specific job for you, but our Twitter feeds will generally provide an ongoing educational resource, give you some tips, some ideas, guide you to places that you might not be thinking of. You should also consider following the HR people and the recruiters working for the companies that you've got your eye on. And if they have specific job board or job Twitter profiles, definitely follow those too. Willie Franzen runs a blog called One Day, One Job. And he ran a fairly comprehensive list a while ago. And it was called um, 50 Twitter users to follow, um, or 50 users to follow for job search. So if you're interested in that list, I want to put it up here, but it was like the URL was like, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. just go to that website and then do a search under that article name, which again is 50 Twitter users to follow for job search. You can also go into my Twitter list. Again, I'm at Job Jenny and see which career coaches and HR people and recruiters that I follow and chat along with. I'd rather like to think that I'm aligned with some of the better ones. But find and follow some strategic people for your job search. Okay, let's spend a second talking about search.twitter.com. Burn that URL into your brain. Learn everything you can about how to use it. Because search.twitter.com dramatically increases your search <coughs> capabilities and can help you find network worthy people. Hashtag, I'm not kidding you. This leads me to an important aspect of Twitter that really freaked me out when I first started using it. Hashtags. Holy cow. <laughs> I, had, I thought people were like playing some mean trick on me when I first started seeing these. I, just, I absolutely didn't understand what they were doing or why they were there. I didn't have a clue. Obviously, they've become much more commonly used in the last couple of years, and we're using one here today. But I suspect that there are some of you who don't really understand how you can use hashtags to benefit job search networking, which is okay. I was a lot like that until I started studying how helpful that they could be. Okay, first of all, hashtags. A very quick definition for anybody who does not know what they are. Those are the little number symbols that preface certain words or phrases on, within some tweets. And then I have a very official definition of Twitter hashtags. The purpose of a hashtag is to create an organized way for Twitter users to follow tweets around a certain topic or a certain theme. So as a job search, a job seeker, you can search under terms like job, job hunt chat, or hire Friday is another one, HR chat and follow along with the tweets related to these conversations. I know we're doing that today uh, with some of our Q&A, so hopefully we can, we can show you this in action. But here's an example for job seekers. Job Hunt Chat is the most popular and most visited Twitter chat, hashtag search, for job seekers. This is a conversation that happens every Monday night and you guys are in Central Time, so it would be at 9 o'clock Central Time. Most of the participants in Job Hunt Chat are job search experts, HR people, job seekers, and various other types of people who are looking to interact around the world of careers and job search. The founders of Job Hunt Chat, it's Richie DiMatteo, who's a friend of mine, and Jessica Merrill Miller, which is a lot to say, Meryl Miller. They have a website now too by the same name, so it would be jobhuntchat.com. And that offers similar resources on an ongoing basis. But the chat itself is over on Twitter at 9 o'clock Central Time on Monday nights. And I encourage you guys to jump in on one of these. They can be really lively sometimes. In fact, 
um, who's the Bravo, the head huntress? Do you guys watch that show? Has anyone seen that? She was the moderator of one recently. <coughs> that was a very colorful and informative chat. <laughs> She's definitely uh, no holds barred. Okay, so that's a bit about networking with Twitter.